Okay, so before or after you watch this video, please go look up Satanism because you will absolutely see that Satanists do not worship the devil or Satan. They worship self. They worship self-love and self-empowerment. And the Bible clearly says that the devil is subtle and crafty and he's weaving it into what many of us as believers, as Christians believe is healthy rhetoric. However, what I'm pleading for you to understand is that the devil loved himself and he believed in his own power. And that's exactly why he lost his relationship with God. His focus was on himself instead of God. We as believers do not need to focus on loving ourselves or saying, I love myself. We need to be constantly reminded, Jesus loves me. We need that constantly at the forefront of our minds because that will guide our perspective and guide how we treat other people and guide our lives as a whole. Self-love is essentially this idea that I can love myself back to wholeness, which is not the reality of what God is trying to teach us. We don't need more self-love. We have to get around people who are teaching us about God, encouraging us to seek him. We need to pray more. We need to read our Bibles more. We need to spend more time understanding who we are in him. This is what being healthy and getting healthier in Christ looks like and deepening in our relationship and our bond with him. There is no amount of pampering, no amount of success, no amount of accomplishments that we can do or provide for ourselves in order to feel wholeness. And so as believers, we have to understand if that if the world is saying, I love myself, we should be saying, God loves you. Jesus loves you. If there is any more a clear indication of how extremely dangerous that is, the Bible clearly tells us that in the last days, we will be lovers of selves, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. There are so many of us that say we believe in God with our mouths, but we deny his power when we think we can do anything outside of his strength. There are so many things that I've done personally to, to try to fill voids and to try to find peace. If I go to the gym more, if me and my wife go on vacation more, if I have this, if I do that, there are so many things like I can't even go run down the list. I've tried so many things to find the peace that only he can provide. All I'm trying to say is that we cannot do anything for ourselves. We are not the source of our own peace. And to get my point across even more, if you take a baby which is extremely beautiful, yet selfish, they do not need to be taught to lie or to preserve themselves if they're about to get in trouble. But we do have to teach them to share and to give and to love. As believers, we have to look at the Bible as a whole and what Jesus was actually trying to teach and not just verses like, Love your neighbor as yourself. Because the Bible also says things like whoever doesn't hate their life cannot be my disciple or whoever loves their life is not worthy of me. Now, God is not saying that we need to hate life or hate ourselves, but he is saying, focus on me. Put all of the focus on me. Meanwhile, what the devil is trying to do to us is say, you don't got to put all the focus on God. Just like what he did with Adam and Eve. Just you can be like him. Just focus on yourself. Love yourself. This is exactly what he's doing. And we have to be aware. This is just a warning. One of the things that I really had to learn as a believer is that if I'm going to contextualize the gospel, I can't just pick and choose certain verses and not read and think about everything that Jesus was trying to teach us. You really try to understand the Bible and read and learn as much as you can within the capacity that God gave you. You will see that he is all about others, loving other people and learning what you can do for other people. And that's not to say that we shouldn't care for ourselves at all, because Paul says that we do this naturally. But when we're focusing on God, he in turn, like in that quiet place, he in turn will turn us and start teaching us how we can help other people. So Jesus is all about us telling each other, God loves you. He loves you. As believers, we are absolutely here to teach each other, focus on Jesus, to encourage each other and challenge each other, focus on Jesus. And I love y'all from here to heaven.